Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, my Saggy Sag. This is another love reading for you. This is the Tarot Cat. I love this deck. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back, my friend. If you are new, why welcome. And if you guys have not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help my channel. And if you like it, it helps it even more to get the messages out to the masses. So for you, this is your person. This is the storyline to flip these two as it resonates. You have <laughs> The Hierophant. Okay, so, so this is kind of weird, but the guides are pointing out. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. so this is what I'm getting, and I'm just going to say it. So you see these little bungholes right here? They're saying what you think is happening is a bunch of beep. So <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling it like I see it. So, you're, you have the Fool card and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you feel like somebody's getting away with something and you're like, this is BS. With the Hierophant card here, which is weird because that's not what the Hierophant card means, but that's why I like so many different decks. So if you want to donate to the channel, the information is down in the description box because, <laughs> I mean, it clearly was like, what this situation you think is not fair and it's a piece of poo. So here's the three of pentacles. You want this to be equal give and take. You want to build a solid foundation with someone. And um, what I'm hearing here is they're kind of a jokester. They say a lot, but they don't, they don't really tell you anything. And they're hold on, holding on to what they, they have here. And you're, you're thinking about a new beginning here. So with the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Knave of Pentacles, you're kind of considering what your options are here. And with the Seven of Swords here is the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you want this to be equaled out and you're frustrated because you're like, mm, why can't this, your person here, get it together? You know, for some of you, because this is a general reading, it's kind of like you want them to kind of, you know, m at least meet you halfway. And with the Magician card here is what I'm really getting is the Jokester. There's strength here. I mean, honestly, the energy that I'm getting is like your, pres your person doesn't know what the hell they're doing. They really, really don't. I don't know if your person's immature young or just immature but I mean you know it's this a lot of talking but not saying a whole lot of anything of substance because here with this eight of wands here it's just like you know maybe your person in, incessantly is talking so now, if this is resonating with you, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All right. It's interesting because I feel like there be this in because this whole time that I've been talking, this is your perspective. And flip the storyline as it reads, but I've been picking up your perspective the whole time. And now with this nine of cups, it's flipped to their perspective, at least for the moment. So they're a little pissed off about this too because they're like, I'm not joking around. I want my wish fulfillment and I want it with you. And they're like, and that's what I keep talking about. That's what I keep saying. Not in those words, but that's what they think they're saying. You know, and that's why this strength card has come up too. It's kind of like, they're, they're like, okay, I'm not being taken seriously here. But I feel that there's, you know, there's a part where I, they're not really showing up either. So with this four of pentacles, trying to hold on to what one has being stingy here comes the tower card because of them not wanting to fully give out 
clear, excuse me, and concise information, you know, it's, it's causing this problem here. You know, and here's the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit card. I mean, you're really considering having to walk away because you're like, well, I, I need my star to show up and I need, you know, you, you have needs that need to be taken care of here. You know, and here comes the death card with the king of swords. You know, it's like they're looking at the flower, being very pensive. But, it's, you know, yeah, it's just like whatever they're spewing and whatever they're telling you, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is such a bunch of garbage. And with this Queen of Wands comes the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're even kind of wondering if they have someone else that they're waiting for, considering, trying to keep their options open. And with the overall card is the Temperance card. Divine timing. So the guides made this tower happen. They saw the direction that this person is not showing up authentically is how you perceive it. You know, and honestly, I just, I kind of feel like there's a lot of immaturity, you know, but this temperance card is the three of wands waiting for one's ship to come in. Now let's get some more clarifying cards here. What is the energy of the person. Patience, okay. Maybe they're wanting you to have patience with them. And you're like, no, I've had enough patience with you. Like, you've been a charity case for me. And you might have even said that. What is it this person is going to do, if anything, to try to correct the situation? Yeah, your person, they're really not ready to, you know, if they've been telling you they're not ready, they honestly are not ready. They have a lot more living to do. They have a lot more experiencing to do. Yeah, they need their independence here. And it's interesting because here is the Hierophant here and here is authority, like religious authority, things of that nature. So you're wanting a commitment. You're wanting to move forward. I feel like you are ready for a commitment. You're ready for the, you know, the, the committed life, whether it's marriage or not. But your person here is definitely not. But they keep trying to like string you on, string you along because they don't want to let you go because when they're with you, they do feel love, harmony. You guys might have a really intense energetic connection here. You know, and there's companionship. You guys enjoy genuinely each other's company. Let's... Okay, so there, let me grab another deck here. This, one, this deck is hardly ever requested. They specifically requested it. So what is it that the watcher needs to know here? So there's the front of it. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. Tell me more. Yeah, you're feeling like this is um, you know, like a, a deep twin flame soulmate connection. And your person is just not ready. 
here's the second one. You know, it feels like this is you or vice versa. And they're just out of reach. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and hold and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You know, and you might have resentment to the fact that they are not coming forth in a, a mature manner. But that, you know, they keep getting, saying this over and over that this is, this person is not ready. This person has experiencing, and that's the exact word they're using is experiencing. To do. Okay, which one do you want to use now? Okay. So I'm going to be using the Twin Flame Oracle deck. Now, if this is a high-level Twin Flame Soulmate connection, please make sure while I'm pulling these cards that one or both or none identifies the situation. Inner Child. Now, when they're talking about this resentment, now give me more information. Okay. So what they're saying is, is someone from the past, mother figure, father figure, whatever, um, was always doing kind of the same thing, like saying a lot, but not saying anything, not showing up as adult energy and grounded energy when you need them to be, to up-level the situation. And it's mirroring the the parental energy that you got so you know if this is resonating with you you're going to see the correlations here so the inner child work needs to be you know gone into you know recently i've been doing a lot of inner child work and it's definitely satisfying it's healing you know, and going to going into all of those aspects of ourself so we can ascend to that next level. Because the block, because if this is a twin flame soulmate connection, and of course you will be the only one to ascertain that for sure, but it will trigger those things within us that we need to excel and take that opportunity to do so by you know really getting in it with the inner child. Yeah, because metamorphosis is needing to happen. So they're kind of switching the gears from your person to you. Because they're saying there is some kind of... Psych there, how do I say that? There's some, some kind of a karmic cycle for you that they're triggering. And you might have already seen the, the similarities or you might not have. But this is bringing it to your attention. And it doesn't mean that you're in the wrong here and some, you know, that you need to fix the situation is just on your end they're giving you advice on how you need to move forward yeah because it's 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 keeping the both of you down here i mean because your person still has their own path as well yeah because here's the fifth dimension card so it's something where you guys are communicating on a very you know fifth dimensional way or your, you know, telepathy, dream work, all those sorts of things. So the dark night of the soul came out. See, I was wondering, it's on the bottom of the deck. So, can, our suspicions have been confirmed, Captain. <laughs> all right, so in that case, I'm definitely going to be taking this into an extended. Because with this... It's so much more deeper um, than I can do in this time frame. So my extendeds are different than, you know, lots of other people's. Some people do it like me, but I do $5 for the extended reading. But for the $5, it's a monthly subscription. And you get to see all of my extendeds on my Patreon channel. And there is quite a few. And that's for all of 
the signs. Okay, and the description box will have the link. Okay. Yeah, they're just saying we're going to move this into the extended because now that we've confirmed that's <clears throat> a part of the, what the situation is, we're going to unfold much, we're going to dig, you know, way deeper into your healing, your person's healing, what you can expect and where the journey um, might take you because having the patience here and being able to look in to the future is important here. All right, you guys. So I hope that this was helpful. And for those of you who do not want to join, what is the message guide? Keep plugging away on this situation and think about um, how you how you might have resentments and how your twin brings that up for you. Okay? All right, you guys. I'll see you over in the extended.